Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back. We're playing Amnesia The Dark Descent Part 7 here. We're starting off with a little bit of like a water puzzle, it seems. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing or how to even go about tackling this so far. So, um, yeah, we're trying to get into the sewers apparently to, I guess, escape this place. And there's a cat. <laughs> okay, so I was pondering the idea of this being like a parkour situation here. It doesn't look it though. It seems like they're just placed out of jump height basically we know that this lever we need to grease some gears yeah so this is the door this red door here is the door we came in from um from the prison cells this is nothing this door up here is stuck and won't budge um and then down here is where the actual uh sewers is which i believe it just told me that it was too dark to navigate is there anything i can move like any of these pieces Hmm. Oil drainage. The vessel needs to carry the oil. Oh! wonder if I can... Yeah, let's fill this up with some oil. Picked up a jar of oil. Do I just put it on this? Or where are the gears at? Because I don't actually see any gears. So I kind of wonder if the gears just mean like... Oh, it is! Okay. What did that do? Oh. A broken pipe is blocking the ladder. However, it got somewhat damaged in the impact. Okay. There we go. Now I can climb up and use this ladder. So far, that didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to, but you know. Okay, what? Hold on, what did I just get? I'm just pulling levers, seeing what things do. Tent the sewer it must be first drained. Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. Okay, so this one must, must be broken, which I wonder if I need to go in here. Control room. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Okay. Got a pipe on the ground. Some nozzles. It's stuck in its position. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what's in this room. It looks kind of similar. Oh, how come that looks like a note to pick up, but it's not? Interesting. Yeah, hey, I'm not able to pick it up yet. I don't know, is that how it's been working? What happens if I just pick all these up? Hmm. So that's when I don't seem to be able to move. Okay, I don't know, that means nothing to me. I don't have any information to go off yet. Oh, maybe the- oh, 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 oh. Oh, Riley. Maybe we need to match this. Okay, so the one on the back is like, almost to the top. The right is a little higher than the left. Now, I don't know if it's mirrored. I think I did it! A heavy gate. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, this seems like so many puzzles. Is this, gonna, is this gonna be like the final puzzle or something? Probably not. It's just probably like the midway finale, huh? Heavy wooden crank. Why did that seem like I did something right? Oh shoot, I actually think I did. <laughs> I think I did it right without even looking at it. <laughs> Woo! Machine, 13th of January, uh, 1799. The work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generates that generation of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is the most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult as it has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lighting crudely replaced by its pressured steam pushing its way through the pipes and turbines. 
It shames me to think of whatever inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with my magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect the tower of wrought iron in hopes it will have the tiniest hint of the power found in the travel traveler's locket. What is this traveler's locket? Hmm. So this thing's freaking huge is what that says, but it was but it was um modeled after a tiny thing. Looks like we have one more door to go through here. And there doesn't seem to be much. This is like a little like break room, storage room, something or another, that seems. Don't trick me like that. It's like when you think the something's heavy and you go pick it up and it just like you're just like Shh, we'll hit yourself in the face. Let's go back. It seems like I already fixed this puzzle and this other puzzle, so it seems like I should be able to just go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Can you find a place to lay down, please? Okay, so let's try to pull this lever down now. Interesting. So I wonder what I did over there. All right, let's go across this and go into this. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room. Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Okay. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. So weird voices. I, I don't even know what just happening. Uh, so there's some water-powered machines, it seems, and I'm gonna park for it. <laughs> okay, here's something. Oh, yep, yeah, there do be water fish around here. What does it say? Redirect sewer water. I don't know what that just did. It was some pretty like intense music and things, but. Water has begun to slowly fill the chamber. Okay, so I feel like maybe we're on a timer now. Let's see what's over on this side. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like we need to get that down in order to get over there. So we have to figure out what puts that down. I actually kind of wonder if we have to go upstairs. I'm guessing this hurts me. Okay. Oh, here's a. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to tempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Okay. So they're doing some supernaturally things to get rid of this orb's shadow, which I'm guessing is probably like kind of like the curse of the orb that they were talking about earlier? Like... Redirect sewer water. Alright, so we redirected it again. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, if we just undid what we did before, I don't know. Is this drop? No, it's not. Okay, uh, my guess is we need to go back upstairs and... Oh wait, how that, that doesn't make sense though. Well, let's still go back upstairs because I think we should see if we changed anything up there. Or I say upstairs, back out into the whatever. I don't know why I feel like we went downstairs, but whatever. Oh, we should. 
since we redirected some water, I wonder if we can go downstairs. Oh! Downstairs into the sewers now. Let's just see if like anything changed down there. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't look like it changed anything. Water is still too deep. Oh, I missed this note. 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Mm. Okay, I can't do anything with that. But I did miss that note. So now I wonder if like the third note will become available to me now. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help me, but... I could have probably guessed that. And you just... just... Break it! I thought it was going to be like, oh, you need to lower the other bridge in the other area in order to like pull that chain in a different direction. No, you just throw a freaking rock at it. Okay. Alright, I'll go back to some parkour. And then this should be the last thing. And then I was also like, oh, we have that little uh, crank. And I was like, well, that probably, like, you know, maybe I need a crank in order to do that. That somewhere and crank the bridge down. No. Here's the third one. Part. 1st of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. What is happening? Ah! Goo! Goo! Forgot about this stuff. Uh. 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 Just hold on to the edge and freaking jump, stupid. I don't know what to do because that thing's right there. RIP. 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 Woo! Woo, using another health thing. Okay! Alright. Okay. Now I'm just out of curiosity. Can I make this? The answer is no. Alright, let's sh go on down here to the thing. To the sewers. Let's see, since we got that all redirected. I wonder if we'll go to the sewers and like come back up here uh, and get that. I don't know. Or I'm just, I don't know. Missing something. Oh, look at that. The water's gone. Oh gosh. <coughs> Without a vaccine. Oh, oh. I'm gonna die because of this. Okay. Okay, so we got another memento. What does it say? Find a vaccine to safely traverse the sewers. Let's go back to the control room and see if we can. Figure this out. It must be something else I'm missing. I'm guessing maybe in that back room? Because that's the only room we didn't, like, do anything in. Oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah. I wonder... Something maybe goes here. 
I didn't, I didn't see that before. Oh, weren't there pipes earlier that I was throwing around? There were like pipes when I walked on each of the rooms. Well, not each of them. Not that one, obviously, but maybe this one. But I remember I literally, they were like sitting like right here on the floor. I'm pretty sure I walked in and threw every single one of them, so. Now we gotta play the game, can we find them? Yeah, this. Oh! Okay. To the other side. Okay. Jeez, okay. And again, like I said, I threw everything, so. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, they look all the same. Hello, I'm looking for a pipe. Hello, Mr. Pipey, where you be? Aha, Mr. Pipey! Ah, hello. hello. Gears are turning now. Okay. Now let's go back here. Woo! Dang it. This is what happened to me. Just put it back on. I know what this is for. <laughs> Run! Here we go. You know, it's all it's all coming together now. It's all coming together. Good thing they conveniently had a wooden crank just sitting there. Alright, so now we should be able to pull this lever. And ka -chow! Yes, sir! Let's go get us some sort of uh, vaccine. need a push to, to dislodge. Maybe I need a couple of these things to throw up there. I don't, I don't know. Oh, it worked! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> Woo! Take that, Mr. Bridge. Oh, Balls. Let's go into the morgue. I'm sure everything will be all right in there. All right, let's see about getting this vaccine thing. Oh. Do you see, Daniel? No. It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has for now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. I mean, there probably will be more dead men. I mean, like, there's a- it's- it's a morgue. You know? Yeah. What? What happened? No, this isn't- Why are all these dead- Where am I? Copper tube. Another health potion. Thanks, I need that. Three days now. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone enter this room? Hey! Anybody? Am I all alone? Ooh. Help! Help! I'm so tired. My heavenly father will take me in my sleep. Damn. So he was trapped in here in this morgue. That's what I'm guessing all these scratches are from. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, what is this? 
This body is still stiff from rigor mortis and it can't be older than the day. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? The strange deaths among us, the servants and the prisoners, have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as means of transport, is plagued by a particular poison fungi. Poisonous fungi. The victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity, but it's clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly in their contaminated vitae. How do you say that again? Lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on the vaccine. Okay, so start working on the vaccine. Hopefully we have it. Just game ends here. Ah, there's no vaccine. Yes, yeah, screwed. <laughs> oh, yo. I fear for Daniel as he's reckless. He's tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this is the end? This in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to un I have to do unto him with Agrippia. How do you say that? <laughs> Did up unto me. Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work the fungi-ridden sewer is definite is a definite success. Success. Unfortunately, the only few servants have been remedied, as the procedure provided difficult. The others will perish, and eventually, I'll have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that the injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for the prisoner transport. Okay, so the in injection of vaccinated blood will use work as a shield long enough to pass through the sewers without any risk of infection. So, so we need to get an injection of blood, I'm guessing, from someone who's already vaccinated, which means they're probably alive. I mean, unless that person that we found that was dead less than a day happened to, like... Be vaccinated and died some other way? Hey, okay, yeah, let's just throw them all in here like this. You know. Obviously, it makes sense. Oh, they tried to put them in there as like a morgue, but then they just gave up and were like, meh. A corpse in the morgue is only a day old. Find the fine copper tube found in the morgue looks like part of a surgical tool. Oh! Look at that! Something we found like way long ago is useful in the syringe. Okay, so now we can probably use this, hopefully, I guess. I cannot penetrate the skull. Okay, now we have this guy. And I stab myself with hopefully the right blood, I assume. Otherwise, I'm dead, right? So now I should be able to go through the sewer. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please, 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 please. You don't want to come in here. You know? Like, why would you want to come in here? There's just dead bodies. Eh, that ain't with me. Oh, it's screeching. Ooh. I think maybe it stopped. Well, either that or I'm gonna die. She deserved it, that little bitch. Whew. Glad I didn't go in that room. He didn't, what did he do? What was he doing out here? I don't know, but it seems like a great question to ask next time. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so we spent most of that time. This, this, I literally recorded just hit the hour mark. Um, so if that tells you, like, I don't know how long this episode will be, but um, that tells you how much I had to edit it out of me just trying to figure out all those puzzles and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, because usually I record about maybe forty minutes and it gets down to 20, 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, I recorded an hour. So, um, there's, there's that. But that was quite interesting. I feel like we're at we're at a super interesting point, uh, in the game here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. So next time we'll go through the sewers and uh, see what happens, I guess. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day.
And uh, yeah, stay tuned and hopefully next week we'll have the next part out for you. So, yep. Thank you.